Hi everyone, um, this is me, your teacher Suresh. So today I'll be teaching you how to make, uh, how to put the blocks in the game. Right? Um, you have to see like, uh, very carefully because um, I have corrected few things here. So I have got something which it's not uh, applicable now. So please, uh, you need to follow uh, from the very first step. Otherwise, you'll not get the desired object. So first of all. So I go to this website called makegamefood.com. You can see over here on top. Okay. And then you need to go to login. So if you have created here your own username and password, you can simply put your username and password. Or else, if you have used your Gmail account, you can just go to your Gmail account and login. So I have uh, login to my Gmail because I created uh, my Gmail account in Gamefood. So after you click this, you have to wait for a while and it is login successful. Right, that's good. So you will see this over here. So please uh, start from a new game. Okay? Don't do it. Uh, don't resume your game which you have saved earlier. Uh, rather than that, you can just start a new game. Okay? So I'll just click on here and I'll go to explore market. Right? Okay, you need to go to market and search for something called NGA TA TR this one. So the last third one. So click over here and you can click simply on get it for free. Click on get it for free and then wait for a while and you will see this pack which is added in your um assets panel on the left side. So can you see this? You can also call this as assets panel. So you can uh, find all the assets of the math pro pack right so now uh, what we'll do with this layer okay so first of all we'll add, we'll add a layer called new tile maps in order to put the tiles okay, where the character will move around so i'll put new tile map and then i'll go to this over here which is called tile scroll down okay scroll down at the bottom select this and you can start putting it like Simply put it like this, and like that. Okay. Don't overdo it. You can also erase it by using this eraser. I'll just erase few things, and I think that's good to go. Alright. So you can uh, design your background like this, but. Now, I told you in the recent classes that you need to add a layer for a character, right? Now, I'm telling you that you don't require that. Okay, you don't require to put a new layer. You can simply go to a background and put a, um, a character, right, in a background. Not in tile map, you simply need to go to background and add a character. Then double click on it and put over the character over here right it's simple right so next thing comes the uh you know first you'll see the background i put a character and a tile map there is another layer which i put the all the tiles which you can get it from the tiles option from down here so now let's proceed to the go to the background again click in the character and you can simply click on this can you see this over here this purple circle thing so from this we'll be adding blocks for the movement for giving commands to the character whether right? to move left right top jump all those stuff on it so simply click on this and go to edit add script okay next thing you have to go to you need to go to physics and check all the you know or you get all the blocks here okay okay go to events and search for something called and inside keyboard you will get something called when backspace delete okay, under events okay. and you can simply click on right arrow key right arrow key okay. so when right arrow key is pressed the characters should move in the x direction that is uh, in the horizontal way okay not in vertical but in horizontal but in the right side so we'll put another uh, block called Inside physics, we'll get something called velocity motion. Now, motion means movement, right? Now, velocity means speed. Okay. Set velocity to x direction in speed 200. Right? Okay. 
next thing you will go to play and we will play the game you need to save the game in order to play it okay in order to test the game so you can just type my first game and you can save it all right and you can just check whether it is moving in the right direction or not so voila it's moving right so that is perfect so in order to move the character i uh, know put the character left and right and all the stuff so i'll be showing you this in one go okay you need to follow this and later on you need to check all the blocks okay okay fine now uh, we'll be putting uh, animation called run okay in order the character to run so we'll go to animation and i will search for something called play animation okay and i'll just zoom it a little bit uh, play animation and put it inside okay if and you have to change this to not idle but run in order to uh, you know the character to run you need to put, put this right? okay now i have done this and uh, let's check uh, let's put another uh, block let's duplicate this okay right click here right click like this okay right click from your mouse like that right so right click and duplicate so you'll have the exact thing which you have done over here right so click on left arrow key left arrow key and press set velocity minus 200 okay so minus 200 run run everything is fine but this will go in the opposite direction let's play and just check whether it is going on the left side or not and i put the animation run so the character will run now see yeah it's moving the right and left yes got it right perfect so next thing we have to put is now i put here minus because minus means left side and here 200 there is nothing means right side okay there is a plus sign here but you cannot see so uh, basically we don't put plus sign okay it is invisible actually okay next thing you have to do is um we need to put the uh, you know when the, when the character moves on the left side the character should face left side right uh, now the now the character is not facing left side but it moves left side the whole body moves left side but it is not facing left side so in order to do that we have to put another block let's search it over in physics and let's uh, just scroll down slowly and steadily let's see i'm searching for something called set x scale of myself okay so it's uh, i think it's not over here so let's go to transform i think it's here all right so let's go to transform and let's this one set x and y scale myself to one here this is the one i'm searching for the fourth one okay click this and drag it over here and you have to change this to x okay for the same thing over here you can duplicate this okay if you want to make a duplicate right click on it and duplicate and you can put inside like this all right got it uh, you need to change this to minus one okay because we have put here minus 200 you have to change this to minus one set x scale to minus self to minus one so let's play and just watch whether it's uh, doing the right thing or not so the character uh, should face left side when you click the left arrow key so right arrow key and left arrow key yes it's fine so but it's not stopping right we need to stop the character as well yes we need to stop the character uh, when i release the keyboard so in order to do that let's duplicate the whole thing okay so, okay let's bring this over here on the right side so right arrow is correct so you need to delete this delete from your keyboard yes you can change this to idle so when i release the uh, keyboard so when right arrow is released so you need to change this to release right got it 
and the velocity is there is no speed so I have to keep it as 0 the play animation ideal yes so for the right arrow key is set okay, I have uh, set the blocks so when I move in the right direction and when I release the key so it will stop the game so you have to do the same thing over here duplicate this for the left arrow key and you change this to release 0 okay change this to ideal okay and you have to delete this so let's check whether it is uh, working properly or not okay? so let's cross our fingers and play the game so when I release the mouse uh, I mean the keyboard it should stop see so I'm releasing I'm moving right and I'm stopping Okay, let's close it so everything is right x minus 200 and scale yes mm, yep everything is fine now what I will do is um, we should have some gravity right so I have just put down left and right and stop and run yes now if you want to put it um, more blocks like up down and if it jumps it should also fall down right so we need to uh, first of all we need to create another uh, you know put another physics or you can just uh, duplicate it but I will just go to events and I'll just click here and say keyboard when backspace is deleted okay. so I'll just change this to up arrow and set velocity to Set velocity y to set velocity y to minus 500. So let's just check set velocity 1 to minus 500. Let's just check. Let's set velocity minus to 500. So inside here we are going to put another block. It is called set velocity y minus 500. We will get this inside physics. Inside motion we will take this just like this. Okay, set velocity here. Yeah? We'll just change this to y, okay. And um, yeah, how much, um, you know, how much, um, how big jump the character will take. So we'll just get you can just put 400 for now, it's up to you. You can put 500, 800, 600, 700, as much as you want. Okay, I'll just put 500 or maybe I'll just put it 600, maybe. Okay, I'll just put it 600 for now, okay. Cool. Now, next thing you have to do is um, let's check whether it is working properly or not. Let's play the game and save the game and play. Let's see whether it's jumping or not. Uh, I think it's jumping. Let's see. Oh, yes. But the character is not coming down, right? See, the character is not coming down. It's just going up. We should put some kind of gravity so that the character falls as soon as you jump. So in order to do that, we need to put a thing called a gravity. Okay, let's start with uh, going to physics, and uh, we'll go to events. Sorry, we'll go to events, and when we'll search and go when the player level start. So can you see the first one, the very first one? Select this and drag it over here. Cool. So set gravity y to 800. So we need to set the gravity. So go to physics again. Okay, this one. Can you see? It's written gravity. Inside gravity, set gravity x to zero. So we'll put this and drag it over here inside. Okay, and uh, we'll change this to say 800. And we need to set vx to gravity. So in order to character falls down, so we need to set the uh, gravity to true okay okay so we just go to set reacts to gravity again we'll go in physics mm, go to set reacts to gravity mm, where is it where is it set reacts to gravity Set reacts to gravity. Set. 
Sometimes the side drive we don't have now. Uh, so let's do gravity. We need to keep it as true. This one. Can you see inside MISC? Now this is this means miscellaneous. Okay, MISC means miscellaneous. Set under physics. Remember that physics miscellaneous set reacts to gravity. Pull this and drag it over here. Okay. Let's see if I if our character falls down or not. Save. Go. Okay. Okay. So it's not coming down, right? So I have to check again whether it is proper or not. So I need to change this to Y. That's the reason it's not coming down. Okay. And then play the game again. Let's check whether it is coming down or not. Okay. See, it's coming right. So we can go to the another. Yes. Holding fine. Yes. Okay. Next thing we would like to do is the camera. So wherever the character goes, the camera should follow along, right? Uh, so when you play games, any games, uh, what you will see in your screen is uh, wherever you go, your, char your character, you will see that uh, you are moving along with the character, right? It's not that the character is in different place and you are seeing something different on the screen, right? So we need to put a camera, yes? So in order to do that, first of all, we will go to physics and we will search for something called constantly of we will go to events events sorry okay we will go to events and under events the last one events events one two three four five the last one drag and drop here like this and you can uh, center camera on my side so you need to go to this purplish thing okay now all the blocks you can see here all are colored okay? that means it has been locked as something so whenever you put this remember the colors always so that you will not get confused later on so we'll do go to something called um, um, constantly center camera on myself right so we'll go to camera Let's see where is the camera. Send looks. Center camera. Okay, center camera. Can you see here? Looks camera lock. So we are locking the character right on the character. Right? So we are character lock. So constantly you have different option pre constant, post constant. But I want the constant every frame you are moving. Okay, so it will follow wherever the character is moving. So let's just leave this. And check whether it is working fine or not. So let's just see. The character is moving along. Yes. Working fine, right? So yeah. So what you need to do is just watch this for a while. So I'll just um you can have a look, okay. Uh, now you can pause the video and you can watch the uh, coding I give you. Now, if you are confused that where to find this purplish thing, uh, you know, the uh, blocks over here. Now you can see this purple color is over here, yellow color is over here, orange color is uh, here in physics. And um, so all the blocks are coated, okay, coated in the sense it's color coated. So you can just follow the color and along with this you can see where you will find that color over here. Okay, it's in this corner. You can see all the colors here. Right? So in that way you can find out the block over here. So you can pause now and see where the codes and when are missing. Okay. So I'll just uh, go back. I have already saved the thing. Okay? And make sure one is for tile map and one is for layer. So there should not be any layer like this. Okay. If you have something like that, delete it. You don't want you don't want this. So your background, in background you have this character, and in tile map you have this um, tiles. Okay, so you need to follow this uh, um, rule. Okay, for editing, so you need to follow the 
exact pattern otherwise you will not get your thing okay so i hope uh, this helps you a lot okay so i'll just stop the video and you can try this on your own so if it doesn't work you can let me know in the next one thank you